Hi everyone, it's Blaine. Firstly, I'm having dental surgery next week and as you can probably tell, I am not speaking very well. I've got a lot of restricted movement down this side, so I am doing my best that I can so that you can actually understand me. Firstly, I'm not actually doing this video as a tutorial. I'm simply doing this to show my workflow and my approach to my work. And the main thing that I'm thinking about is I'm wanting to pay homage to the builders of these intricately detailed castles because it wasn't until I started editing them that I really became aware and appreciative of just how much detailed work has gone into all these castles. So when that started to become more and more apparent to me, I really wanted to show that detail off and by doing so, paying homage to whoever designed and created these beautiful structures. I mean, these are centuries old castles, some of which dating back to the 14th or 15th century or even older. So the first thing that comes to mind is in order to enhance that detail is I'm thinking about creating a bit of a 3D effect. Now for many of us, when we first started photography, myself included, many of us think that creating a 3D effect is simply enhancing the clarity in Photoshop and I'll show you what I mean by that or contrast. However, it is actually the difference between the blacks and the whites of an image because the image is actually, that you see is actually producing 50% grey, so that's why the blacks and the whites are so important. So you're working on making the blacks blacker and the whites whiter and it's creating the right balance between those two. If you're working with the clarity and the contrast in order to create a 3D image, it affects the entire image, whereas working in this way is affecting the parts that you really, really want to affect. So, and by the way, I am explaining this in extremely simple terms so that anyone can understand. So again, this is not a tutorial. I'm also doing these videos uh, myself at work because I know for many people, when they are traveling, that's when they get the chance to have a play with their cameras and photography. And for some, that may even include some basic skills in editing. So that's also why I'm doing these videos because my goal, especially for those coming on my Outlander tour, September 2020, is I wanna help you improve your photography so that you can come back feeling really, really happy with the photos that you've got. So I'm actually going to turn you around and show you the image that I'm currently working on, which is actually Linlithgo Palace. So try and say that three times really fast with this. That's gonna be interesting. Linlithgo, Linlithgo, Linlithgo. <laughs> um, okay, so what I'm going to do I'm going to fit that on the screen and I'm going to show you the very original image. I had a friend who asked me quite a valid question and that is, if you're doing all this editing, when is it no longer the image? And that's a fair enough point. If you're going to be editing an image, you edit the image with intention basically so you don't just edit it for the sake of editing it for example um with sky it's a little bit washed out so i changed it to achieve that deeper sky and by the way on my mobile phone it's coming across a lot deeper than on the computer to me what i'm seeing on my mobile phone is way too strong it's not quite that strong on my computer. 
Now, the other thing that I did, because initially, that's quite a flat image. There's no real, you know, it's a nice image, but there's no real detail. There's nothing particularly spectacular about it. It's just, you know, a nice image. So that's why I've been doing my editing to really bring about the detail and make something really awesome, hopefully, out of it. So one thing that I'm starting to do, being that it's quite flat and, you know, I'm not, my eye isn't being encouraged to look directly at the castle, which is the star of the image. So what I've done is I have actually been working on the left and the right parts. Now with the left path, if you have a look along there, that's the off and that's on. You'll see that I've added some shadow and with the right path again, you'll see that I've actually enhanced the shadow. That does two things. One, it does actually make it look a little bit more depth, brings that depth to it. Two, because as I mentioned, it was it was a nice image, but it was a flat image, and nothing was encouraging my eye to be drawn to the castle. I kept on looking around the image, thinking, where am I supposed to look? I want to encourage the viewer's eyes to be looking at the castle. So what doing this on the path does also is it creates what's called leading lines. So by having that detail along here, I've now got something which encourages the eye to look down at the castle. So I also talked about um, enhancing the clarity and contrast in at the start. Just bear with me while I take these layers off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So I'm going to go into camera ball filter. Now that's the image without any editing. So that's the original editing. So many people when they begin photography, and I did this too, they believe that all you need to do is enhance that clarity. So, and it does obviously bring up a lot of detail, but it, it, it's, not, it's not proper HD effects because it's affecting the entire image and it's not necessarily affecting the parts that you want to affect. So, you know, you can even just use clarity to give it that clarity, but just keep it at a lower level. And then again, sometimes people think if they just use the contrast, that, that just brings down all of that shadow in an area that you don't really want it to be. And again, you could use that and just keep it at a lower at a lower level. So that's what I meant before when I was talking about some people believe that that's what 3D editing is and it's not. So I'm going to turn on all the layers. Now the other thing I did is because this area got a little bit washed out, I darkened that just to give it a little bit more detail and turning back on all the layers. So looking up here, this is where I've started on. You'll see that there's a line of all the shadows. So you're following the shadows to get more of the detail. So moving that forward, I've done a little bit of editing. Now that's that off and that's turned on. So as you can see, just by turning it off and on, that gives it more detail. And if I take it back, and it's only a really subtle, subtle change, but when you're doing this throughout the image, so for example, uh, in all these areas where they've got the shade all around them, I'll be drawing in through there. And then what I'll then be doing is I'll be doing the same with the whites. So you'll see some lighter areas where I'll be wanting to lighten up and then it'll just really enhance that detail of the image. 
as opposed to what we actually started off with, which was that. So again, you know, it's a nice image, nothing's wrong with the image, it's just very, very flat, and I don't know where I'm looking at, and you know, I want something more than a nice image that anyone could take. So that is my editing workflow with regards to that. And thank you very much for watching.